Okay, there's the difference in size between the X-Mid one person and the River Country Products one person tent. Okay, they both squish down a little bit. Here you look, they squish down quite a bit. So, hey, check this out. Look at this one. Okay, so it's set up. I've got a guy line right here. You can barely see it, right? Um, the guy lines are very similar to the guy lines that are on like a Big Agnes, like the way it's set up. So right now, with these being really long, see how it's got ventilation underneath the underneath it? But I could cinch all of these up and make it just a little shorter, and it would still be huge, right? This is uh, the inside. Yes, it's a parallelogram, and I don't have it exact, but I'm getting there. And then, look, there's a huge area on the other side where you can store your pack, and then on this side, of course, you get to cook and, you know, eat breakfast first thing in the morning without getting out of bed because that's the way you want to roll. So, yeah, this one, this looks really, really, really good. Okay, I'm going to set up the other tent next to it so that we could see a comparison of the two tents, this one and the river country. All right, so here's the both tents set up. And there's the river country. Okay, they're about the same height, about the same height. We're gonna look inside though, okay? Because River Country, the only thing you get is this front vestibule. So the front vestibule is there. But for this, you get vestibule on this side, right? And you get a vestibule on this side, yep. All right, here we go, one more time. There. And that's a, that's, you know, it's not tight. I didn't, I didn't tighten that one up any. And I really didn't tighten this one up. The real big problem here is going to be this guy line thing that's going on right here. I don't know if I need it every night. Um, I'm hoping I don't. I wanted to try one more thing before I roll this up. Um, this tent up. I'm going to put the, the, the river up. River country. Great looking tent. You can see. Yeah, you can't even see it on that side, right? It's a good looking tent and it's really good. It's just, I'm six one and it's too small for a six foot one person and pad and sleeping bag and staying dry. You know, five, five, 10, five, 11, you're definitely gonna get away with it. But this, no, not happening for this guy. Okay, so check it out. So this is actually the inner body of the tent. What I did was I staked out the corners of the tent the, the fly, the inside, the mesh, uh, the netting. And then I just have those two out. So I can still sleep with this outside. I do believe or without the top. And I do believe there is a clip that goes here somewhere that goes in between the two. But we're gonna figure something out. One of the concerns I had was how low you can set the tent to the ground. And I found out that these little stakes these little adjusters right here, uh, ooh, there we go. These little adjusters right here are really, really cool. Um, you can set them lower or higher, and then uh, obviously, you know, that one's set real close. We got the train here in Breckridge Park, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, so this one's set a little higher so that you have a little, you know, if you're, God forbid, on a slope, you know, because there's so many flat places in the world. Um, but yeah, you can you can set it up a little bit differently. I really, really think this is the tent of tents right here. This is the way to go. I don't see anything. I really don't see anything that's gonna prevent this. Uh, the only thing is the setup. The setup's big. The setup is one of those where you're you you gotta. I haven't quite got it down to a science yet. But setting up and taking it down, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit of practice. So there you go.